Gaia Yellowstone are threatened with extinction due to climate change, tree skeletons reveal. In a hotter and drier climate, the groundwater that fuels the highest active geyser in Yellowstone can decrease, so that the frequency of eruptions and even extinctions is reduced. The steamboat geyser in Yellowstone, the highest active geyser on Earth, can become a victim of climate change and stop erupting as drought hit the region, scientists say. As temperatures rise and rainfall decreases across the American West, groundwater reserves beneath national parks are no longer sufficient to supply the iconic geysers, a new study finds. Groundwater is the fuel for geysers. Michael Poland, geophysicist, research and scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, who were not involved in the new research, told Live Science in an email. Without water, geysers cannot erupt. Geyser in Yellowstone, which currently erupts 20 times a day, Steamboat does not erupt on a predictable schedule and experiences dry seasons that can last anywhere from 3 days to 50 years. Trees growing around geyser holes. When steamboat frequently erupts, its plumes coat the surrounding greenery with a thin layer of silica, a mineral found in the volcanic rock that forms geysers. The silica rain choked trees growing within 100 feet 30 meters, of the hole, providing a reliable record of steamboat's past activity, the researchers wrote in a study published Tuesday, July 25, in the journal Geochemistry, Geophysics, Geosystems. Escaping from the geysers is rich in silica, and when the silica precipitates, it clogs the pathways that allow trees to breathe, photosynthesize, and grow, said lead study author Shaul Hurwitz, a research hydrologist with the U.S. Geological Survey, in a statement. It's a protective barrier against bacteria and fungi that can rot wood, Hurwitz said. Trees in Yellowstone tend not to survive more than 300 years, he added, but geyser explosions could preserve the wooden structures for centuries. The dead wood structure growing near the vent represents the time interval when steamboat does not erupt. When eruptions resumed, silica-rich spray smothered and killed the trees. The researchers radiocarbon dated tree skeletons within 46 feet 14 meters of the vent and detected three periods of growth late 15th century, mid 17th century, and late 18th century. Then matched this period to regional climate records and found that steamboat's dry season coincided with periods of drought. Even small changes in rainfall can affect the intervals between eruptions, said Hurwitz. More water means more frequent eruptions, while less water means fewer eruptions.